What's up? It's your boy Carcino here. And let's talk about it. Martin came back with a splash, didn't he? This kind of helped Will Smith out too, because Will's been putting out a bunch of duds that Gemini Man didn't do anything, and everybody's like, man, Will Smith is done. Will will never make a big budget movie again. It's over for his career. And, you know, Martin's been gone since, like, about a decade. Nobody's really seen anything too much of Martin. And he had, like, a little guest cameo in the Beach Bum. And people was like, it's over for Martin. He was producing some films. Then he was just staying in the background. But there was a lot of things transpiring that people just didn't get. They just didn't understand. Um, everyone talks about the Martin TV show. Do you realize that was... <laughs> that had no bearing on... What went down with Martin? Like, Martin bounced way back since then. Martin was doing two big budget movies a time, at like, at a time. You know, and once he was doing, like, two big budget films, they were, he's filming them back to back, he's never really at home. So Martin was always out on the road doing tours and doing shows. Now, <clears throat> when he got Big Mama's house, you know, he was trying to lose weight and for the role, and he's passing out because he was out there trying to lose weight. And he out there smoking dope and doing all these other things, and... He got the one that was laced with the PCP. So he had a PCP episode in which he freaked out and started waving guns at cops. He was out of it. You know, so... He was completely just out of it. So, while he was out of it, they put him in a hospital and they got him under control and they got whatever was in his system out of his system. And then he had the episode where he passed out in somebody's yard just fainting. And he almost died because his body temperature was like at 140, 140 degrees. They had packages of ice trying to cool him down. And he almost suffered from brain damage for him just being so hot. Body temperature was like at 135. It was like just really hot. So... While this was going on, you know, people was like, oh, Martin is, you know, like, I don't know about working with Martin. I don't know about working with Martin. Then Big Mama's House comes out, and it's a huge hit. Everybody forgets all the stuff that went down. <laughs> Martin's back in play. So Martin's in demand. He's doing, like, what's the worst that could happen? And, I mean, he's doing crossover films. Nothing to Lose, with Tim Robbins. And when people didn't know that these movies were paying Martin, huge. Big money, Universal, Blue Street. Martin was getting money, huge amount of money. So he was sitting back. He had his own production studio. So when he started doing uh, Run, Tell, That, and all these things, and doing making all these movies, people were like, man, Martin is... 
Martin is that guy. <laughs> He's back. He did life with Eddie. Then everything just came to a halt. And no one quite understood it. Like, man, what happened with Martin? People were like, man, I love that movie he did. When he did Bad Boys back in 2002, back in 2003, man, it was on. They had just did Bad Boy 2. He did Run Tail That. Then I was like, then he did Black Knight. And he had what's the worst that could happen and all that stuff. But I'm like, look, when he did like father, like son, that was basically it. He was done. And what people didn't know is that Martin Lawrence's mother died. So he decided to fall back and come home because a lot of things were happening. And he was dealing with a lot of grief. His mom died, then his father, and then his brother had passed away. So, dealing with all that death in his life, emotionally, you know, he gained a lot of weight. A lot of things was weighing on him. So, he just stayed at home. He didn't really do too much work. You know, he had enough money to where he didn't have to go out there and do that stuff, you know, to work. And he put himself in a position to where he didn't have to run around and do too much work, you know. And now, you know, the life had gotten a toll on him. At first, you know, it was the girls, the money, and the cars, the ladies, and he just got caught up in all that stuff at first. But then... The second time around, when he was back and doing Bad Boys 2 and all that stuff, and he was he was back, you know, being Martin, you know, like, I'm back, I'm, I'm in control of it, I got this, and everything's good, then the lights is off. Everything's gone. He stops everything only because of his family. So now that he's back doing Bad Boys, you know, Bad Boys for Life, and I still think it should have just been Bad Boys 3. You know, I mean, why would you call it Bad Boys for Life? Because it that messes everything up. Because now when Part 4 come out, Bad Boys for Life, that could have been the fourth installment. So what's the next one going to be? Bad Boys Forever? <laughs> so it comes out and knocks it everything out the park. It, it brings in like a hundred and, what was it, 140 something million in revenue. It's, it's on its way to like $200 million. Um, it's definitely still doing high numbers and people are well, very fair numbers and way more than what people anticipated the film doing. And it's already been greenlit for the next installment that's going to should start shooting in about a year. They're going to start shooting the next installment. So, that's good news. But, Martin is not going to stop here. He's going to get back to working and get back into doing things that he used to do. Um, I know how grief can be now because I'm really faced with it when you're having things that's happening back to back to back. You know, that's what hit Martin. And people didn't see Martin. He just fell from out of public eye. And he gained a lot of weight. And people were like, man, man, Martin. Was that Martin that they had at that award show? He's looked big. That was why. Because Martin. Martin was. Uh, his dedication was to. His family. His mom. His dad. His brother. You know. And to lose them. 
like almost back to back to back like that, it just, it took a toll on him. So he wanted to be close to home, want to have some stability going on, you know, he was going through divorces, you know, it's, it was very trying for him. Very trying. So. I understood, in other words. So, that answers your question on what happened with Martin Lawrence. That people keep thinking it's about the Martin TV show. And with Gina and all the stuff that happened back then. That was the first part of it. Martin had already bounced back from that. When he was gone this second period in time and he was just producing stuff and just staying in the background it was because he was dealing with loss in his family so now you know all right it's your boy carcino saying thank you guys and believe me if you're not on my patreon on carcino for life you definitely need to get there <laughs> Some very uh, interesting stuff is happening right now. And let's just say um, it's going to be very interesting this week. Because um, right now we got the, what, the Beyonce videos up now? Beyonce. So, yeah, the Beyonce situation is up right now, one of them. And I don't know how we're going to do it, man. But we're going to try to get them out there for you. But Jay might have some words for me. You know, he might have a Hitman squad coming for me. Um, yeah, let me relax on that for a while. But, uh, yeah. Um, definitely <laughs> check out the Patreon, all my VIPs. The Beyonce one is for all access and VIP. Y'all got the Beyonce versus, was it, Khalees and Sierra? Yeah, now you know about that story, too. So, yeah, it's all good. <laughs> yeah, I'm out.